Why is Hitano suddenly obsessed with mushrooms? Halt and identify yourself, suspicious guy! I'm not suspicious. Oh, you're not? Then I'll give you the gatekeeper's greeting! Uh, how'd it go again? Uh, you've come to Hatano Village, home of fine produce and dyed goods. Our vegetables are the best around, and we're at the forefront of fashion. Did I say that right? My dad would have known. Too many still at Lookout Landing. Well, he's certainly doing something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Hmm. What strange decorations they've been putting up. Uh -huh. Sorry about that. Are you a visitor here? A tourist? You're in Hateno, a village known for living off the land. For as long as anyone can remember, we till the soil and let nature be our guide in life. Hmm. Now, though, everything's getting so glitzy, and some folks are trying to drum up more tours in business. Mind you, we're all happy to see Sissy return to the village after she'd been away for so long. Some folks like my daughter Prima started wearing that flashy CC brand stuff right away in celebration. Mm. But it's a tad over the top for me and my son-in-law Warden. We prefer the simple life, the way we've always lived it. But I don't mean to talk your ear off. By all means, go on and have yourself a peaceful stay here. Okay, first and foremost, how's my house? I am really curious how my house is. Okay, the house is intact. Good sign. Good sign. I don't have a sign. I miss my sign. Oh well. Look at my house. Look at my house. People cooking stuff. And your goat. A golden horse? Holy cow. Read Zelda's journal. This is Zelda's journal. In my house. You understand what this means? Do you understand what this means? <laughs> After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild and set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities, the damage was far worse than I'd imagined. But as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken. They and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild, and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we've built a school in Hateno. It's the largest Hylian village with its sprawling, bountiful land. There are so many children living here that it seemed the ideal place to found a school. I've recruited Simon from the Research Institute to teach there. He was Pura's assistant for years, which makes him well-equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. <laughs> ah! She's not wrong. I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself to keep an eye on the students. I've commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson Construction, to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request and will be his final job head to before he sets off on a journey. I had him add a secret room to my house, one that won't appear in the plans. It's dim, but humidity and temperature controlled, so it's very comfortable. It's proven very useful when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. Work on the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem recently reared its head. We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. I hope to see sterling members of our community come to this village and take up that mantle as their teacher. Look, I'm just saying, she lives in my house. That has implications, okay? Nothing has been confirmed, but there are implications. I am now going to go where I believe the hidden room is, which is not in here. It's down here. Zelda's secret well. I love it. I love that there are frogs in here, too. Though the calamity is over, its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us even as we begin to rebuild. I love these! Look, look at these pictures! Oh my gosh, they're so cute! No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side, a kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. That's why I have put an order in for a new and improved champion's tunic just for him. I can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room so he won't find it until after our investigation. 
Even he would never expect that the torches are the key. How am I supposed to get in there? Well-worn hairband. An old, worn, simple hairband. Its color has long faded, but still has some life left in it. Wearing it in your hair sometimes makes you feel sentimental. About time has passed. Oh my gosh! He hung on to my hairband! Oh my god! This is the best thing! I'm gonna cry! I'm legitimately gonna cry! Zelda, I miss you! Where are you? When are you? And why is there a doppelganger of you doing bad things? It made me sad. Okay, what's going on? I can't admit three customers at present. What do you mean? We took the trouble to come here and I say we can't get in? But I want to see Cece's new stuff. It's not every day a mega famous fashion designer debuts new material. We only have one entry ticket remaining. What is with- why are you all mushrooms? Fashion designers are weird. Ah. <laughs> it's art in clothing form. That doesn't necessarily mean everybody should be wearing it. Ah. <laughs> okay, bye. Uh... Thank goodness they gave up. Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you also a tourist who's come to see my sister's- I mean, the new line of Cece's products? Oh. As long as it's just you, you're free to go into the shop. Cece herself is in there right now, in fact. Nothing you'll see is for sale. It's only an exhibition right now. Well, that's fine. I don't think I want to wear mushrooms. Fashionable personnel only. Hey! That's my stuff! perfect masterpiece. It's an exemplar of the form from every angle. This is the sort of thing on which I've built my name and reputation as a world-renowned sissy. Hmm? Uh -huh. I see, I don't mind the hat and the, 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 the neck piece. It's the mushroom designs. No, I, I don't have any real interest in fashion. Ooh. Welcome to Ventest Clothing, the only boutique in the world which carries the CC brand. Okay. Thanks. The CC hat. Okay. I mean, it's not horrible. Um, it looks very French. And not just because there are mushrooms. Of course, I don't know what that would have to do with French. Never mind. The most impressive fashionista in Hyrule, trendiest village is worthy of such a crown. <laughs> I don't remember approving any new slogans for Hateno. Uh -huh. <laughs> but plants need their sleep too. These eyesores are so bright at night they're keeping the veggies awake. Well, this is, um, quite a conflict I was not ready for. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. We're having an election. Ah! See? We're having an election! Uh -huh. I delegate the management of the election to Sophie. Okay. Um. 
What exactly are you, um... No. Undecided. Well, wh what? No. Uh, okay. I don't like the fungal fashion. I don't. I really don't. Uh. I have to go. Wait, what? Okay. No. I'm confused. Your mission is to give a mushroom to each. Uh. She said it was so much work when she put me in charge of the election. Uh. What am I getting myself involved with? Sure, what's up? Uh. It's about Cece. At least she's been sneaking off alone in the middle of the night. I don't think it's anything sinister, but the election is soon, and I don't want a last minute surprise to hurt her chances. Uh. Tell my sister, find out where she's going, what she's up to, and get back to me. Okay. Interesting. Where's the die shop? This is so weird. Someday a second store. Oh, hi! All this activity is going to be a problem. I mean, I'm grateful to see that our shop is taken off like this, but every day is so exhausting now. Sounds like the old mayor should have it. <laughs> ah, we're back. Lovely paraglider. We also have her fire. Yes, thank you. I do not want this at all. Every region has its own unique fabric designs. Keep an eye out for them wherever you go. Interesting. <laughs> Reworking the paraglider. <laughs> there is but one and only one choice. Hey. What are we doing? Ready to launch? <laughs> Yay! That is one way to do this. But oh my gosh, I have the only glider that is needed. And this makes me happy. <laughs> we'll check out the school. And then, that should be it for... Look at this place. I love this place. <sighs> yes, yes, what is it? Oh, it's you, Link. Haven't seen you in... <laughs> Link, you're back! <laughs> oh, my apologies for the uppers. C clearly, you're back in town, then. But what of Princess Zelda? It's a long story. <laughs> Princess Zelda's still missing, which is the reason you came here alone. That makes more sense. Princess Zelda built this school, you see. She cared so much about the children. I'm sure this would be one of her first stops as she had returned. Right now, we're covering history, which is very important to Princess Zelda. We're focusing on Hyrule's history alongside the Calamity. You know, Link, you're welcome to sit on a lesson if you like. Yeah. Today's class will be a history lesson. The story of Hyrule is deeply intertwined with the Calamity, and that is no exaggeration or embellishment. The Calamity has visited upon the Hyrule several times before sealed away 10,000 years ago by a sacred princess and a hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness. Uh. <laughs> the fairy tale? Over time, history and legend sometimes blur together. <laughs> oh no! Any pictures? Oh! I was I was just there and I did not take a picture. I just saw it. Ah, I'm gonna have to do that. Oh look, by the way, dragon. <laughs> oh, there's the shrine. 
was a sheet glider? That's awesome. But the Skyward Sword Glider is the only one for me. No entry without permission. Ah, I'm gonna have to take care of an election, huh? Well, that's just great. I guess the plan for tomorrow, then, is to head up to the lab, see how things are up there, try and take care of this election, and then we'll go to the desert. I was just starting to think of things I might post for the for the announcement on Twitter tomorrow. I don't I don't want to post anything that's full of spoilers or anything. Scoop it out. But Dang, what are we doing here? But I I don't know, is it a spoiler to say that there is uh that I'm going to the desert? Does that count as a spoiler? Now, what are you? You're electrical. This is an electrical setup. Okay. Okay, I know what I need to do. I need to make a... Scoop. Exactly what you're talking about. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Um. No, I kind of want this. Okay. Let's grab one of you. Bring you over here. <laughs> I could have actually just scooped it, which I think was the idea. Instead, I just manually put it in. Well, I got it. <laughs> I got it. I got smacked along the way, but I got it. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Done and done. Okay, so our plan was to, I was going to go up to 
Pura's old lab. Check it out. And then we were going to come down here and help with the election. All is well with the... Are you two still doing the thing? Unless... Uh-oh. Uh, you ever come to steal away my darling wife? Aw, they're still doing it. Aw. Yes, I'm looking for the research lab. <laughs> the lab's empty. Mm. Good to know. Oh. Yes, I'm aware of a ton of password. Oh. They're still looking after the windmills. That is just darling. I'm aware I'm aware, K Dog. I'm perfectly aware. I did them. That's what happens when you redeem stuff when I'm not on camera. Oh, hi guys. I forgot that you were here. It's so nice to see you both. Look at my posse. I need to add to this posse. I have a freaking posse. That's great. That's so great. So, if... Need to get inside. Are you telling me I have to talk to Robbie first? I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna see if I can find the thing up here. Because I'm looking for Pura's notes. I don't see anything. It does not appear to be a thing in this location. Okay. That's good to know. Unless... Oh, look at all these old guardian drawings. I love it. Aha! I grew frustrated with being treated like a child, so I resumed my age booster experimentations in earnest. <laughs> this is what I was looking for. The anti-aging device reversed more than 100 years in an instance. I reflected on that result and moderated the output. When I cautiously exposed myself to its rays, I returned to my 20-year-old form, just as I had hoped. Success! I'm so happy that I once again <laughs> reach high places without using a jetpack. <laughs> My 20-year-old body doesn't suffer from sleepless nights researching. And what's more, my skin is perfect! No complaints! Three volumes of my diary hidden away now. I'll place the last one at the northeastern edge of Akala. The lab there is perfect for hiding things. It's such a remote location. I'm sure no one ever come across it. I'm guessing one's at Lookout Landing. They're just everywhere. My word. Okay, let's see what we can do about this whole thing with the... Hi, Daisy! <laughs> it's not just Pokemon. That's like, that's every game. Half the, half the houses are always open for just random passersby to walk into. That's just how it do. Oh, I bet they're asleep, aren't they? Oh, yo, the customer saw Ventus clothing, aren't you? You know, when they were talking about whether to go about the mirror lecture or not, it's because something of a hassle. They're both so stubborn. I wish they'd clear the air between them and then this silly quarrel once and for all. But that's a moot point now. I have something else on my mind. What's going on? He shuts himself up in our shed every night. 
Ah. Mm. Okay. Enter our shed at midday when my husband isn't around and see if you can figure out what he's doing. Mm. Gotcha. All right. So read secret I need to do during the day. And right now I can find out uh, Mushroom Lady's secret in the middle of the night. How does I does? Here we go. Okay. Right, where... Well, where is she? That's... I can't follow her if I don't know where she be. Did I happen to miss her already? I probably missed her already. Which does not help me in the slightest. So... Have we messed the best character in this entire Zelda universe? That's a matter of opinion, isn't it? <laughs> 